reserves of runium running dry, the appearance of new critters, the sudden snowstorm. I've connected the ley lines of each of these phenomena. The map is nearly complete. But still haven't traced many lines and marks back to their source. Perhaps if I go back to the factories, into the restricted zones. But I can't do that alone. Definitely not when the situation in town is so unstable. Well, I should have given this up long ago. There's no chance that the study of ley lines will ever be accepted again. Regretfully, Miss Winsong, with nothing but these outdated files and materials to back you up, there's simply no way to justify reinstating the study of ley lines into our curriculum. We don't have unlimited funds, and we must save our money for projects with greater potential. The study of ley lines is... <laughs> of course, we might be able to consider new ideas and projects. You can't be allowed to do this on your own. You will need endorsements from the Institution of Geographic Studies, the Arcane Creature Society, or other uh, such organizations. Let me think. Zeno seems to be interested in geographers recently. They just recruited a number of researchers for a new commission. Maybe you should go try your luck with them. Submission date is getting closer each day, but I've made poor progress. See, no one endorse me if I can't find a breakthrough. They have become more and more radical and desperate lately. First, they sent those researchers here to conduct their haphazard studies, and now an armed force? And all this effort just to chase the rumor of some source of perpetual energy? that this perpetual energy source must be hidden somewhere beneath the permafrost. The higher-ups call the shots. All they need to do is put a little honey in the right places. Then all the little researchers will swarm on it like flies. But could there really be a magical power source like that? Whether there is or not, I still have a map to finish. There's no way that I can map every ley line in the region all by myself. <sighs> Goodbye, research funds. Goodbye, lectures and seminars, and so long to my dreams of being chair of the Geographical Perspectives Forum. What was that? Miss Winsong, we've been waiting for you. Song. We prepared a special medal ceremony for you in August.
please come to our ceremony. <sighs> we just wanted to thank you for teaching us. Miss Villa was right. We shouldn't have been so quick to argue. We should have listened. So you should be given an award for being right. But our ceremony will not be as big as the ones on TV. Miss Winsong, will you accept this medal? I have no cup to put this medal in, so we can't toast with it in celebration. <sighs> but now I know, no matter what, I won't be returning empty-handed. Thank you, kids. Do you mean... are you leaving us? But there is so much you still need to teach us. But I ask you embraces every guest, including you, Miss Winsome. Don't you like it here? But those things I heard at the welcome ceremony. Won't we all be leaving soon? No. I don't believe it. That stranger was mean. He wasn't our friend. Hmm. <laughs> this is Arton. They can't speak for us. That's right. Miss Villa invited the men from Zeno to leave his ship. Then they went into Mr. Evgeny's meeting room together. Uncle Knut promised me that no one will give up this place. They will go to many meetings and find a... a solution that satisfies both sides. The tortoises move slowly. They need to keep their eyes opened and look for a better answer. So, will you stay and teach us? I, I won't cause you any more trouble. I promise. <laughs> hmm? Comrade Calculator is speaking. Hello? Comrade Calculator, are you giving the Earthworms directions? What's going on here? Oh, my calibrator! The whale-like backbone. The diamond-shaped teeth. Two short legs with dim eyes and an extremely sharp nose. That must be a kikituk. But 
But their closest habitat should be Kong Carl's land, hundreds of kilometers away. Their marks on the map appear to be red, sort of reddish-brown, and there's a large amount of light energy accumulated around them. Clearly, they're high on the food chain. Seems like the small fish have attracted more than one big fish. Kids, get behind me. are giving a performance. Their nose sings, their four dances, and their belly shakes. Hmm. But why aren't their ears doing anything? August, what are you doing there? Stay back. Those are not Kikirn. But, uh, but... But their ears are left behind. They, they... They can't join the dance. Then they will not get their Alyonka. Ears? Природа — это числа и черты. So that seems to be their weak spot. Good job, little one. You're even more perceptive than I thought. <sighs> Next. was one of the last working instruments I had. Don't be sad, Miss Wingsong. If we plant them in the soil, many more will come out when spring comes. <laughs> Thank you, August. Miss Wingsong, can I be a lay hunter too? If we were as good as you are, maybe we could have protected your machine. And maybe we could protect our town. Kids, lay hunting isn't a good profession. If you become a lay hunter, you will have to deal with doubt from all your peers, even hatred, and homework that piles up to your roof. Miss Vinsong, people in their Yashki are taught not to doubt or hate others. They would never hate you or us. Exactly. <laughs> 